and welcome back to the Chronicles AFC Daily with me, Harry Simeon. Not much in the way of news stories doing the rounds today, but since yesterday's edition, there have been further developments concerning the stories we already discussed. We spoke of the reports regarding a potential move to Inter for Granit Xhaka, and since that, a message has been doing the rounds on social media that is claimed to have been sent by one of the midfielder's cousins. It's been translated and it's said to read... I want to let you know that this news is true. Granite accepted to leave. The process took like two months. His request was to qualify for the Champions League, which didn't happen. So the Jackers agreed with this. So I will tell you the amount that needs to be paid by Inter, which is 55 million euros. I hope your guys are happy and thankful about this news. Now, I can't confirm whether or not that message is genuine. If I said I knew um, that it was or it wasn't, I'd be lying. So make of that what you will. He does say, interestingly, that 55 million euros is what Inter will need to pay, which doesn't necessarily mean that they're willing to stump up that sort of money. Still a long way to go before anybody could say that this is absolutely happening. Now, Xhaka was in action last night for Switzerland in their UEFA Nations League semi-final versus Portugal. Despite them drawing level through Ricardo Rodriguez's penalty after VAR took centre stage, the Swiss were ultimately undone by the majestic Cristiano Ronaldo. Portugal and Cristiano's third came from Granit Xhaka getting the ball stuck in between his feet and losing possession in a key area, the kind of mistake we've seen all too many times. On yesterday's edition, we also spoke of Freddie Lundberg's promotion to the first team squad. Now, this wasn't confirmed at the time of recording, but we've since learned that Steve Bold will be taking up Lundberg's previous role as head coach of the under-23s. Now, Bold has often been criticised for the first team's defensive fragilities, but what most people fail to realise is that he's never actually been responsible for that side of things. He's always performed a broader coaching role, and Juan Carlos Carcedo is the man that Emery looks to confirm... Uh, uh, concerning sorry, his defensive setup. Now, the promotion of Freddie Lundberg suggests that Arsenal will look to integrate more of the under 23s into next season's first team. And what better way to do it than by having their mentor on the sidelines? I watched them a couple of times last season, and one thing that is abundantly evident is the strong relationship Freddie has developed with each one of those players and the incredible respect that they have for him. Now, according to a number of media outlets, Arsenal are in discussions over potentially bringing Paris Saint-Germain defender Thomas Mounier to the club. The Belgian international has fallen down the pecking order there, only managing 19 starts in Ligue 1 last season. According to these reports, Arsenal have opened talks over a deal worth approximately £22 million. River Plate star Ezekiel Palacios has opened up on a potential move to Arsenal and admitted that he's proud to be linked with a club of the Gunners' stature, in quotes reported by the Metro. TNT Sports claimed last week that the 20-year-old attacking midfielder Palacios is one such name on Arsenal's radar, alongside Boca Juniors duo Nahita Nandes and Emmanuel Reynoso. Palacios was expected to join Real Madrid this summer, but Los Blancos have now taken up the final non-EU spot in their squad by signing Brazilian defender Eder Militao from Porto, leaving Palacios in the wilderness. So those are the stories doing the rounds today. A couple of updates on yesterday's stories. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who's uh, tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps uh, pushing the video up the rankings. And of course, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode of the Chronicles AFC Daily. Until then, take care.